Okay, tonight I'm going to show you how to take apart, clean and inspect your Charles Daly semi-automatic shotgun. I'm trying to follow mostly the uh, directions that have been found on the Charles, Charles Daly forum and uh, recommended by the president of the company and uh, also going with the, uh, the manual that comes with the shotgun. First thing is take the nut off the end of the uh, fore end. Pull the fore end off. From there, we can pull that back a little bit and remove the barrel. You pull the uh, pull the bolt back part way. The barrel. At that point, the O-ring comes off. The piston assembly and the uh, Piston buffer. From there, if you go ahead and you move the uh, bolt, you can take the uh, lever out of there. Once you do that, the whole assembly comes apart there. At that point, you can also take off the uh, did I? Part way turn carefully. Got that spring comes out of the uh, take the trigger assembly out. So punch a little tiny hammer. Trigger assemblies out. Now I basically have the entire gun disassembled. One th first thing to look at here is the uh, recoil pad. Sometimes uh, people have reported it's been a little problematic. This one that I've got in the gun now looks to be like it's uh, almost looks like it's made out of metal, but it's probably just got some grease on it or some oil. What I'm looking for here is just any unusual things. The thing that makes me a little nervous here, I just see some uh, little bit of uh, uh, metal flaking in there. Since we're going to be using some solvents, I'm going to put some gloves on. Let me go ahead and use a little gun scrubber uh, cleaner. One thing you can use for a solvent for the gun is just some standard old WD-40, but the gun scrubber is definitely a little stronger. The other thing that's a good thing to use is this uh, brake clean. Use some of these heavy duty paper towels here. Wipe off the uh, first part there. Now you need to be doing this in a well ventilated area. And actually I am in a well ventilated area. Spray a little of this down the uh, barrel. Run the wire brush through it. Times and a little bit more. Okay. Go ahead and put our uh, swab on there. Gun 
cleaner. That's some pretty volatile stuff. Now I've got some more. Okay, I'll run the mop through there a few times. Got some nasty looking stuff coming out of there each time. Sitting on the floor. Probably should have put some plastic down. Okay, that bore is looking really shiny now. So. Pre-cut cotton uh, t-shirt material, basically, and uh, that's a little mop-up thing. Pull this one off. That thing is looking clean, clean as a whistle now. Finish her off by spraying a little Remington oil in there. A little silicone, just kind of slight amount of protection. And we'll just swab that through there too. down the barrel it is clean and shiny. Looks beautiful. And we'll just kind of finish the whole thing off with a diaper. Cotton diaper here. She's looking pretty good. Now we got the piston or the cylinder here. We'll just use a little bit of this uh, cleaner on that too. And on our that's looking pretty dirty. Spray a little bit straight onto that. To wipe the barrel down again after this. Swab out the barrel again too. A little bit of the uh, cleaner made it through the holes there. It's all good though. Spray this a little bit out over the table. Once again, a little Remington, Remington oil. T-shirt. 